flower and fruit infused water. Today I can harvest another pineapple from my garden and I can't wait to taste it. They only give fruits once a year, so it is a really special occasion when I finally can harvest one. And pineapples are my favorite. I also discovered some ripe star fruits ready to pick from my neighbor's tree. It's the end of the season, but I have dehydrated many of these to use throughout the year. I like to put them into a spicy Thai sauce that I make often. When I harvest some ripe fruits, it feels like a gift from Mother Nature. We are designed to eat these sweet fruits. This pineapple has many side tops that I will keep for planting. And it tastes so sweet that I will eat most of it just like that, as a meal filled with sun energy. With some slices of the fruits and flowers from the garden, I'm going to make an infused water to drink later. There is the blue flower that we call Radha's Consciousness Flower, also called Shankapushpi in Tamil. It has lots of therapeutic benefits and even the entire plant and its roots can be used. It's so beautiful and I like to put it over my meals as well. Some lemongrass for its fresh taste, which I also like to use its roots to flavor Thai dishes. And vitamin leaves, which grow in abundance right now, and I use them every day in my smoothies. Hibiscus flowers that attract so many butterflies, and the pink little flower that we call harmony flower, which grows as a vine and creeps all around my garden. There it is, the pink flower. I will also add some of these heart-shaped guruchi leaves, which are also called heavenly elixir because of its many benefits. Flowers' importance in nature is everywhere. They can feed insects, birds, animals and humans, provide natural medicine for humans and some animals and aid in plants reproduction by attracting outside pollinators. Without flowers, plants would merely be green and the world would be a duller place. I leave it to infuse in the sun for a couple of hours this flower water is living power, 